Dextrous cable manipulation benefits from tactile sensing. Here, the task is to reach the end of a cable using a hand-to-hand -hand motion. To accomplish this task, grasp strength must be just right. If too strong, the cable won't slip. If too weak, tactile sensation is poor. Also, gripper pose needs to be adjusted to keep cable centered in the gripper. In this work, we built a novel parallel draw gripper equipped with draw side fingertips. Tactile perception gives a cable pose and shear force in real time. One controller modulates grip strength, the other controller adjusts gripper pose to keep the cable within the gripper. The gripper mechanism uses compliant joint allowing simplified 3D printing, and the controller operates at 60 Hz. The gripper is equipped with gel side tactile sensors. From tactile imprints, we can estimate the pose of the cable. White ellipse shows the estimation of contact region. Red line shows the estimated cable orientation. We can also get force estimation from tactile imprints. The yellow arrows indicate the magnitude and direction of the friction forces. Since a small grasping force give a poor pose signal, and a large grasping force result in too much friction, controlling grip force is essential. We use a PD controller to keep constant friction force and a leaky integrator to ensure good signal quality. We model the dynamics of the cable between the gripper as a planar pulling problem. We use a data-driven approach to build a linear model, and a QR controller to regulate the cable around the center of the gripper. This shows an example of robot following a USB cable. The signal on the right are cable posts, robot trajectory, and moving direction. The controller keeps adjusting the cable state in real time by changing different moving direction and furthermore pulling angles. When the cable is near the boundary of the sensing area, the regress will be triggered to adjust the cable's pose. Here, we compare different controllers. With open-loop controller, the robot loses cable easily. After adding the regress, the robot finishes the task but needs many regress. With LQR controller, the robot can control the cable in hand for longer distances. Therefore, it needs few regress. The system can be adapted to different cables with different physical properties, with data collected only by one cable. The controller adjusts pose to keep the cable centered, overcoming outside disturbance. 